This is the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium in North London in all its modern majesty. And you are very welcome. This is Spurs versus Manchester United, forever one of the premium events of the Premier League year. Tottenham back in front of their own, post-Conte, post-Kane, and starting all over again. United on their gentle trajectory back towards the stars. So, Graham, what are you thinking? Out number three to one. Madison's emerging, stylishly so. James Madison, ball at feet, space ahead of him. With Doggy here ahead of him. Richarlison through the middle, Son now from wide. Son, Saar! Saar again! Anana again. A brilliant work by Mason Mount. He... With Doggy, that's a sweet take. Son, Paro has belted it against the woodwork. Saar, oh, against his own post, and Martinez ferries it away. Debating it now, Saar, Pedro Porro, Kulusevski, Kulusevski's cut back, braced by the great white wall, and Spurs are on their way. Midfield enforcer from Senegal has his first Tottenham goal. Mount Bruno Fernandes, Anthony against the inside of the post, and it breaks kindly for Saar. Saar. Madison, Son, Udogi, scramble away from in front of Richarlison, hear this place, Romero, Son, Madison, slung out towards Perisic, Perisic, David, he'll take it if you give it him, and the cockerel crows, Spurs are loving it in the sunshine, Tottenham with verve and with vivacity, they were good. They were very, very good. Kelly, thank you. Brass bands and bubbles. The way it once was. Perhaps the way it should be for a Hammers homecoming. A Hammers homecoming and London's day of East meets West. From either flank of the capital, they collide. Cockney and Kings Road, the bubbles and the blues. And a contest which acutely partisan as it always has been neither side can bear to lose but he still could hear as Jackson around Zuma as far as Chilwell and Chilwell can drive it in and Zuma can repel it it's Carney Chukramaka it's a smashing goal he hit that like he bent it just as a week ago Chelsea have grown into it from a goal behind and Carney Chukramaka has his first Premier League goal, his first Chelsea goal. And Caicedo. Antonio crashing off Colwell. Emerson. Pacata. Emerson went over. Penalty. Caicedo's indiscretion. Pacata. It's an East End knees up. Few games the Hammers love more to win. They have it over Chelsea. West Ham spent the summer dreaming it just like this. Faced with the bony billions, West Ham found a way, cutting, determined, and lifted by 50,000 plus for whom the bubbles fly. Paul Moises Caicedo is left to reflect on a debut which played out in the way he would have wanted least. David, thank you. And for us all, so soon, a gem of a game immediately. To hurry the heartbeat. The dear old bridge is dressed to the nines in Liverpool, a freshly ambitious VIP visitor. And there is surely no club in the land keener to start all over again than Chelsea. Pochettino is a blue. Not quite four years since Spurs. The resumption of a respectful personal rivalry. Jurgen Klopp's very first Premier League game nearly eight years ago was on Pochettino's touchline at White Hart Lane. John Hollins, if you met him, you liked him. And those who saw him play will tell you he could play. For Jurgen Klopp, you might argue last season ended a week or two too soon. 11 unbeaten through April and May. Another couple of games and the top four just might have been reelable in. For Chelsea, before him, last season could not end soon enough. The new start feels fresh. His intent to restore the smile. Gakpo away from Gallagher. It's Cody Gakpo. 
It's Mo Salah. I was wrapped on the frame. James got it back from Sterling. Jackson's in there. And Allison threw out a palm. McAllister artfully spread for Salah. Cole Wills in reverse. It's Salah. It's a super ball. Super goal! Liverpool out of the blocks in smooth style. Ah, oh, Jurgen Klopp watched Luis Diaz come up with the cheekiest of finishes in the final pre-season game on Monday night. Games. It's a sweet pirouette. Sterling. Raheem Sterling's wriggle clear. And Alexander Arnold has hooped it over his own crossbar. Fernandez with the corner. Canate with the clearing header. Sterling steers it wide again. Fernandez reloads. Sobers like clear back in by Chip. Sterling. Fernandez. It's a red line. And that means big hug. Truce. And there is your Chelsea relaunch. Take from it what you will. In the West London sunshine, the Chelsea Cup right now feels closer to half full than empty. Glad of their points after they suffered in the early moments of the game which will stand him in good stead it all ends in mutual smiles and sunshine the final score at Stamford Bridge is Chelsea 1 Liverpool 1 Newcastle United and Aston Villa two of English football's awakening giants each bouncing off their best season for decades reaching for the stars burdened this time of course by greater expectation Gordon Joel Linton. From Pope. And then the wide players, Gordon's free again. Dinia. Diaby 1 1. That is crisp. What a super hit and another fine debutant goal. Tonali. That's a super delivery. Snappy and certain. And the match are only up again. What a game we have. What a game. What a noise. Gordon. As Isak concerts strong and swift enough, but Isak has rocked him, and Isak has finessed Newcastle into a 3-1 lead. That's sweet. Horrible for concert. Delicious for Alexander. Quite promptly, here is four, and the number nine is off the mark. Wow, it's fun here. It's fun here, all right. At the Cathedral on the Hill. Top of the league. The Geordie Nation has spent its summer dreaming of days like this. And every hint with Tonali at their heart now suggests that there may be many, many more like it. Newcastle winners, Rebecca, by 5 to 1. For as long as Manchester United have been the glittering global phenomenon that they are. There hasn't been a season begin without the onerous self-imposed demand to deliver. Shaw, Rashford. It's a super little run from Luke Shaw. And a sweet turn. And Wolves amid chaos just about got away with it. And the whistle has gone. Fernandez And Wan-Bissaka. And the Stratford end gives thanks.